guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I shade and highlight a drawing. At this point of the drawing I've got all my outlines and the first thing I start to do is block in values, where my uh, darks are and where my lights are. I'm not too worried about crazy detail at this point because I know I'm probably going to be covering over a lot of stuff. So I just want, I'm trying to get a value structure. So right now I'm going to slow the video down to real time and really show you how I lay down my highlights. Uh, what I use is a Prismacolor white colored pencil. So the key to laying down highlights is realizing where the light is going to strike the hardest and where to press really hard with that highlight. So on above his eyes, there's like a ridge there. So I know that that is going to be really bright and white. And so on the nose, I think about the same thing. That nose is really coming forward. So the light's going to hit it really hard at the edge of it, at the piece of it that sticks the furthest out. So knowing that, I know that where the mask recedes, I'm going to press lighter um, because I know that that bright white isn't going to be so bright. So, and that's what gives you that kind of depth, that the shape of the mask. Well, on the dome of the helmet, um, it's really easy. Uh, it's much easier than the face mask. The face mask has so many parts that are moving forward and backwards and kind of gradual, but the head is really just a circle. So I really, on the outside of it, where the light is hitting it the strongest, I press the hardest and I lighten up my pressure as I move towards the bottom half of it. So when you're highlighting shading, really what it comes down to is seeing things as basic shapes. Like the ear holes, they're just cylinders. And I add one strong highlight to that edge of that cylinder and it makes it really stick out, makes it really look three-dimensional. Uh, the little side of the mask right here, I know that's like a tube. So if I s highlight the one top half of that, it really makes it look rounded. Uh, and then you can see I've already added the shading on the bottom part of it, so it really adds that depth, that shape to it. But really, what you really need to do is understand basic shapes and how to shade them. Uh, this stormtrooper is just a bunch of calm or a bunch of simple shapes made up into something that looks somewhat complex, but it's really not. Um, like to reiterate, basically, if you can understand basic shapes and how to shade basic shapes, then you can start to see those basic shapes in the in the drawings that you're doing, and it'll really help you shade and highlight things. <laughs> So once I kind of get a rough uh, value structure and I kind of add a few highlights to kind of decide where light is and um, things start to really look three-dimensional, um, that's when I start to really darken things up. Uh, and then after I really kind of darken some spots and I'll add some more highlights, uh, like you can see on the edge of his leg there, I did some really, um, some shine marks, things like that. So really what I'm doing is building layers of value. Uh, the first pass is going to be kind of rough layers um, just to get everything kind of laid out. And then uh, as I go through the drawing, I'll work on details. Um, I'll really look at an area and say, well, that area is really not light enough. Uh, it could use a really strong highlight to really make it pop or this I'm not, I don't have enough of a value structure. There's no real dark darks. So I really, really need to get darker uh, or there's not enough mid-tones. It's really just a process of evaluating whether or not you've got a full value structure. So right now you're gonna see me really start to lay in the sharper details. Once I have a really good highlight done I like to go back over the darker pencil work or like those lines that separate pieces of his armor um, I like to really sharpen those up because sometimes the white highlight pencil will bleed those out or make them not as crisp as I'd like so normally I wouldn't do this but since it was stormtrooper and their armor is full white uh, for this drawing I decided to go one step further after I had the whole thing done and actually do all of his armor white um, which I, bl I blended the, the, the lead pencil with the white pencil, uh, with the white colored pencil. And you can kind of see it really um, made those 
pencil transitions like blend really well. Uh, and I kind of liked it. I don't know how if I'd use it in the future, but it worked for this Stormtrooper drawing. Well guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it and I hope you got something out of it. So after I did this drawing, I decided that it would be kind of fun to focus on Star Wars concepts for a while. So my next few videos will be Star Wars based. Uh, my next sketchbook update will be all Star Wars drawings. And I actually have a colored pencil drawing coming up soon that I did uh, of a Star Wars, what I call Blade Trooper. So look for that video. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And if you haven't, subscribe. Thank you.